we are talking Hill Walkers. This one written and directed by Tom Cosgrove and is best described simply as Ireland's equivalent of Wrong Turn. Now this focuses on five friends as they decide they're going to go for a 14 mile hike in the kind of the uh, wilderness of Ireland somewhere in this kind of like boggy marsh area. Uh, one of the five friends declares that they have recently beaten cancer and I thought at that point well that person is clearly going to survive. Obviously you can watch the uh, movie yourself to see if I was right with that prediction. Anyway, so they go off on this, uh, this, this kind of hike and uh, one of them hurts themselves and they have to try and kind of go back. When it starts raining they have to take a different route and this kind of leads them to this kind of private land in this kind of forestry area. Uh, and However, this kind of private land is home to a family of not so nice people, you might say. And what will happen from there, you'll have to watch the movie to find out. So let us discuss Hill Walkers. So as I've mentioned, did you like Wrong Turn? And I'm talking the original, not the remake. And if the answer is yes, then you'll kind of like this one. Although it doesn't have mutants and stuff like that. It's a little bit more uh, down to earth, one would say. Um, but it's a very, very kind of similar story. One, two, much, two things that struck me with this movie, uh, I would say, that were a big, big plus is in the, uh, the win column, was actually some very strong acting, first and foremost. I thought every member of the cast, every single one, actually did, not just an average job, but a good job. Um, I, I really kind of felt their characters. The, the five kind of protagonists genuinely kind of felt like kind of friends. And then we have um, our kind of our group of um, rednecks, I guess you would call them. Uh, Irish rednecks, I'm sure there's probably a name for it. Uh, and again, they, they all did a good job. There's this kind of a, like a manic one called Steely, for example. And they're kind of a couple of older ones. And I just thought they all did a, a very, 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 very kind of believable job in their characters. And I will say that uh, the characters are actually written to be quite believable in regards to their interpersonal kind of dialogue and things like that. There are some choices that are made by the characters I feel were a little less believable, but we'll come on to that. But the actual kind of the, 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 kind of the dialogue between the characters, their kind of relationship with one another, I genuinely th I felt were, were all really good. And we have a kind of, a, you know, different kind of personalities. We've got like this, there's two guys and three girls in our group of protagonists and uh, one of the guys is like a kind of a grumpy one, but he's not, they don't kind of go at the, the typical, you know, the, the typical asshole kind of character that you sometimes get in films. He's grumpy, he's a little kind of grouchy, but he's not, you know, the, the typical kind of like D-bag that you'll kind of get in, uh, you know, with, normally when you have an ensemble kind of group of uh, protagonists. So I quite like that. The second thing I would say that really kind of uh, works well with this movie is this location shooting that they've got and that kind of work to, to go hand in hand with the, the, the photography here. I really thought, thought this this kind of this setting of this very kind of bleak landscape or this kind of miles and miles of just marshland and they have this kind of like the rain and the fog in certain scenes. I thought it was really good. I mean I was expecting like a werewolf to come out at some point to be able to do. If they ever make a werewolf film uh, in this area this would look great for, for a kind of uh, those kind of sequences, but I really felt like it gave it this kind of like this eerie quality as well, with kind of just like this kind of like I don't know, like Mother Nature kind of just what ran wild really in this kind of area, and you're at the kind of the the mercy of the elements to a certain degree. I really thought this kind of like the location shooting and then this photography of said location was absolutely phenomenal, and I do feel these that the characters of the uh, these kind of rednecks felt kind of genuinely kind of threatening um, and, and I quite liked the fact that when we have the when we have our kind of encounter with these two groups you feel like it's on a little bit of an, a knife edge about where it could go and that they don't necessarily seem overtly kind of uh, hostile necessarily and you there is a kind of a, an element here had something could not have happened uh, they may well have just kind of even helped them. You know, there's something that happens, there's an inciting incident that kind of obviously uh, sets the ball rolling. And although it's relatively kind of mild and taken out of proportion, 
you know, had that not have happened, you, you, there's a chance you could have thought these people may have just kind of like set them on their way. And I could have quite liked that. It, it kind of gave them uh, a little bit more uh, humanity to a certain degree. I mean, they're, they're horrible people, don't get me wrong. And obviously the way it goes down, as, you've, as I've mentioned with wrong turn, you know, it doesn't go particularly well. But you have that thing there where you think, oh, they, they, you felt like they could have an alternate timeline where that decision was made differently. It could have gone a, a, a little different there. And I will say, as the movie progresses, you know, it's kind of feels like, um, you know, when we have lots of life, you feel it. I thought it, I thought it was kind of done well. It feels tragic when the, you know, unfortunately, uh, some people don't, maybe don't make it. You know, it, it, it works well. Uh, and then it's a punchy movie. I thought it, it's, it's kind of quite well paced. Well, for, you know, photographed, it's good, great sound design. So yeah, overall, pretty good. Um, any things that I can say on the negative? The biggest thing for me, this movie is incredibly predictable. Um, I've made the, the the comparison to Wrong Turn and it's more or less the same film, if we're being completely honest with ourselves. Uh, it's it's It doesn't take any chances in regards to really doing anything new. Um, it follows tried and tested templates in regards to story beats um, so yeah not particularly original and then we do have although I do like the way the characters are written certainly with the interpersonal um, sequences but there are some things here where there are some nonsensical like typical movie decisions that are made here you know that they decide to go on this kind of but it's a private land and just before that one of the kind of the grip goes off to kind of to try and find help. But I thought, surely you wouldn't go off and leave, leave your friend without her any and no any idea where you've gone. You know, you would have tried to leave a note or something like that. Uh, and then we have, as I said, this inciting incident. Considering you already know that you're on private land and you're very kind of like nervous about it, I don't know whether whether you would you know make this, like, a, like a decision that is made here. Uh, you would just kind of, you would just kind of want to get out. Um, again, I'm, I don't want to kind of go spoil or kind of go into specifics here, but there's, there's, there's a couple of things here that happen and throughout the movie where you just think things don't make sense. There's a sequence to near the end where um, we have a character that is handcuffed, uh, yet they're walking behind two other characters that could have easily kind of put the handcuffs uh, over kind of the, the, you know, over someone's head and kind of like garroted them to a certain degree um, these things don't happen and it feels like this will you know again it just has that little bit of unbelievability sometimes and it's a shame because it does kind of have uh, the juxtaposition against some very kind of well-drawn and realistic kind of characters there's also a little bit of unnecessary CGI um, some CGI kind of flies uh, CGI smoke CGI uh, like bullet kind of like you know ricochets and things like that I don't think it needed to do any of that. Um, it would have been better off just not to have that. Um, you know, it, 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 it does. It looks kind of quite cheap when that happens. It looks like just a, a simple uh, cut and paste overlay, to be honest. Um, but overall, I gotta say I quite enjoyed this one. This was a, this was a fun movie, and it did remind me so much of Wrong Turn, which is uh, you know a, 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 one of my kind of favourite style kind of slasher movies to a certain degree. Um, it's extremely predictable, however, but I will give it a seven out of ten. I think it's, I, it, despite the fact, I mean, part of me wants to say six because it's so predictable, but the quality of the film, I, I think, still makes it a uh, an enjoyable watch, despite the fact that it, you know, you can kind of guess what's going to happen. So I'm going to go with a seven out of ten here. Have you seen it? What did you think? Leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.